Sabotage. The brave superhero Atom Man watches over the world with his neutron vision, protecting it from villains and wrongdoers with his photonic watch and his molecular agglutinator. Up ahead approaches the ship of his sworn enemy, Professor Molecule, that is once again set out to defeat him. <laughs> Another nightmare about physics and chemistry? Yeah, yeah, the monsters were coming after me and trying to get me. But then my ray gun ran out of juice. Come on, get up. <laughs> we're gonna be late for school again. Oh, man, why do I have to go to school every day? Well, because you have a lot to learn about life. By the way, Chip, look what arrived today. Huh? At last, Adam Man Special Edition! If you get dressed quickly, you can take it to school. <laughs> uh, yeah! Just you wait till I show Nico and he'll go! <laughs> Come on, Grandpa! We'll be late! Darn piece of junk. They don't make cars like they used to. How come they expect kids to make it to school on time if we all drive around in tin cans? Come on, Chip. Get out the car. The bell's gonna ring. And don't read your comic in class. Don't worry, Grandpa. Now, it is thanks to these great minds that we have the scientific knowledge that we possess today. And thanks to the studies and experiments performed by scientists of all ages, our world has evolved. Now, uh, what's happening? Evolved. They've taken his cape and he can't fly. I told you, if he lost his cape, he'd lose his powers. Now, who <gasps> can tell me who Archimedes was? <gasps> who was Archimedes? Uh, busted again. Was he the man on the moon? Well, that's the end of our comic book. Distracted and class again? What are you hiding? Hand it over immediately! <gasps> Professor Susan, I know, I know! Not now. Give me your gum, Hugo. You'll see. <laughs> if you paid as much attention to your lessons as you do to that Anton man, I'm sure you wouldn't get such bad grades. Yeah. No buts, I am confiscating this comic book. Ugh, come on, will you sit down, you brown noser? Now collect your things and get ready. We're going on a field trip to the High Energies Institute. Huh? Why are you still here? Why aren't you in the hall with everyone else? I, I can't. I, I'm stuck to the chair. <laughs> this 
is the last time that you endanger the High Energy Institute with your crazy experiments, Doctor. Crazy? How dare you say such a thing? You're fired from this institute. We're sick of your useless tests and your impetuous behavior. What? Fired? But that's not possible. Hmm. Just pick up your things and get out. <gasps> I'll have revenge. <laughs> <laughs> it's, work. it's working. <laughs> That's it. Look at this, you good for nothing robot. This is a scientific breakthrough of the century. Once the lens is installed into the particle accelerator at the Institute, I'll be able to create antimatter and rule the world. Oh my God, the movies are sick. Come along, kids. <sighs> no comic book to read on the bus. Huh? Don't give up that easily. We'll get huh? that comic book back. Plan A, <gasps> rescue Adam Man. Now, do you all have your physics and chemistry text? Yes, yes Professor Susan. Susan. Right, then. Everybody get in line to go on the bus. <clears throat> uh, uh, By the way, Chip, <gasps> where is your textbook? What, now? Right now. <clears throat> I expect you've forgotten it as usual. Of course not. <clears throat> I've got my textbook here, Miss Susan. Well, that's a nice surprise. Whew. <gasps> Thanks, Lara. Hold on to it. You can give it back later. Here we are in the Museum of the High Energies Laboratory. In this room, we have all the information we need about uh -huh. atoms. Where have I seen that before? Of course, it's Adam Man's symbol. Okay, kids, open your textbooks to page 17. Whoops. <laughs> The chapter about atoms and their structure. Oh. Rescuing Atom Man, Plan B. Huh? <laughs> Science tells us that an atom's nucleus is made up of protons and neutrons. As you can see, they have the same number of protons and electrons. Electrons have a negative charge, and protons have a positive charge. Okay, let's go have a snack in the garden. And you two? Aren't you going outside? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, go on then. <laughs> Have they gone? I'd better get out of here. Uh, the lid's stuck. Oh! Wow! What do we have here? Uh? I'm sorry, sir. You sniveling brat. This isn't a schoolyard. This is a laboratory museum. It's no place for the fooling around. Man, what's his problem? I hope they haven't cancelled my ID. It works. Here it is. <laughs> the particle accelerator. Uh, well, some plan. At this rate, we'll never get to know if Adam Man gets his powers back. <gasps> Come on, guys, cheer up. I'm thinking up a new plan to get her comic back. But in the meantime, let's play soccer, okay? All right! Yeah! Uh-oh. Uh... And now some yogurt. Uh. <laughs> hmm. I hope you're happy. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. You're a disaster! I'll go and get it. <laughs> Don't just float, say, you pile of junk. Stand by the main switch and wait for my signal. Oh, yeah. Accelerator ready to fire. But what have you done? Yes, yes. You spent idiot in much time yet. Oh. No! Ah, there you are! At last! Oh, oh what's happening? Oh. Ah, who are you? I'm Chip! My name is... Oh, what's happening? Oh, what's happening? Ah! Ah! Where am I?
This isn't the High Energies Institute. Look, the lens the man was talking about. I'll keep it safe. Huh? I'm telling you that that Shh, weird so thing loud. appeared where We're the laser beam fell. Where's he gone? Oh! Oh! Huh? Oh! oh. Hello. Whoa. We won't hurt you. Uh, who are you? I'm Merc. I say, what kind of element are you? Element? Uh, I'm Chip. Chip? Chip? What was that light? Light? I don't know. I was just playing, and then this laser beam surrounded me, and I woke up here. The truth is, I'm pretty lost. And who are you? I'm Ferric, and this floating bubble is Hydro. And we are atoms. Atoms? Yes. You'd better come with us to Atomica, and maybe they'll be able to solve the mystery there. And will they be able to tell me how to get home? You bet they will. What happened? My lens! Where's my lens? I remember. That insolent brat has stolen it. I have to get it back as soon as possible. Oh? What's that? If that's antimatter, then I did it. I was right. The great Doctor now has created antimatter. I alone control it, and I'll have my revenge. I'll rule the world! And so, we're in the museum next to the bar tree, and Nico, he sometimes goes a bit too far, and he shot the ball out of the park. Ta-da! Oh. This is Atomica. Wow! It's amazing! Observed, my little tin cans. The first atoms of antimatter are already under my control. They've come straight from the void to serve me. Working at this speed, I'll soon have a whole army at my disposal, and I'll be able to create my world domination device. And when I get my lens back from that little brat, I'll dominate everyone and everything. I'll be the ruler of the world!